Search punktv.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews. How is it going? Good. Fantastic. Real good. Yeah. First, awesome. we have Taste of Chaos. Rockstar Taste of Chaos Energy Drink Music Tour. 2009. <laughs> 2009. <laughs> Yo. Can you tell me what the vibes are like today? How has it been going so far? I'd say epic bro vibe. Yeah. Um, we are friends with like almost all the bands on the tour. Mm -hmm. So know the, you know, Pierce the Veil guys. Right. Uh, Bring Me the Rise and Four Years Strong. Mm -hmm. Know all those dudes. So it was just, but you it's know, all like, it's reunited all kind of like, homies. It's yeah. all in, see with, with them, everyone aside from like, you know, Bring Me the Rise and we've hung out with a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But like, you only hung out with like Pierce the Veil and Four Years Strong once each time. Right. So it's like, yo man, what's going on? What's your name again? Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? his but but like, no, awesome no, no, like, no, like we hung out, you know? But but it's like, did it's hang like, out, it was like a was right fun. off the bat bro down. Oh, it was nice. like, oh cool, yeah. you guys tour, we yeah. tour, you yeah. get it. You have beards, yeah. we have beards, yeah. cool. Sweet. <laughs> and then the other upside of that was like, uh, rolling into this, we have tons of friends that are friends with Thursday. Mm -hmm. Like the Alexis on Fire guys and the Silverstein guys. Right. And they were just like, you're gonna get along with Thursday, awesome. And then yeah. we all roll up, and the Thursday dudes were just like, we were told that you guys are nice guys. <laughs> And they were like, oh, Samsies! They did like Cupid thing, you know? Yeah, 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 it was awesome. So I yeah. figured we'd be, we'd be homies. Rise one, Against, you know, was yeah. like, you guys are going to like these guys. So. It's like one big summer camp, pretty much. Yeah, except yeah. It's, oh, yeah. it's yeah. winter camp, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys released your sophomore album, Hell Destroy in 08. What are you guys working out on now? Uh, trying to get a record done sooner mm -hmm. than later at this like point to kind record. of uh, crank it up. Mm -hmm. What's the third one? Though? Sophomore? Is it junior? Yeah, junior. junior. Yeah, your junior? Junior year? Junior year of school? Junior year. Do we have that in Winnipeg? Yeah, we, we don't have that in Canada. Yeah. Like freshman, freshman sophomore, sophomore, junior, senior. We Does don't do it exist? That. What is it? Like grade 10. Grade 11. Grade 12. Oh, graders. High school, man. <laughs> Shiner Niners, you know? Nice. Yeah, I don't know. That sophomore thing is just... It's I like the, the word sophomore, you see, we though. You watch a lot of American say. TV and stuff like that. A lot of Canadian We know about your culture. TV, so. uh, that's good. I lived that's in good. the U.S. for a bit, too. There so. we go. So, I was yeah. a sophomore in America. Yeah, I, point. So, I bet this weather is nothing to you guys then, you know? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's yeah. nice. We definitely like, but, you know, you know packed away our parkas. We were expecting yeah. it to be a little bit warmer. Right it's, just, it's beautiful during the day. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, the night. It's just nasty yeah. and windy. <laughs> but I went skateboarding a bunch, which I couldn't have done yeah. in Canada. In an outdoor there's no park. snow. Yeah, there's no snow. Really? Well, in Canada? In Canada? Oh, here. California. I was like, how did you know snow? In California, there's no snow. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. snow <laughs> in California. <laughs> so snow. Although there was snow in Mexico. Tweak me out a little. Yeah, we ran into a huge yeah. snowstorm on the way down here. We drove straight from Toronto to here. Oh, nice. Which was awesome. It's so fun. Yeah, is it know, beautiful? It was the worst. Uh, Yes and no. the worst. I had a good time. Mike had an awesome time. Yeah. I was a little antsy to get off. I was a little the, antsy yeah. to get out of the van. But we were driving and we like hit this huge snowstorm in Arizona. Oh my god. And really? To the point where we were just like, we're used to driving in snow, but kind of under Canadian uh, conditions, like right. where there's snow plows and stuff like that. So we were like, I don't know what the vibe is. Like right. we'll just go to sleep. So it was like about two or three in the morning. So we went to sleep. Got up at seven. Mike was driving, and there was just like transport trucks in the ditch, like everywhere. What? You know what was weird though? The we whole weird thing about that was that the whole time it was like really like seven o'clock. I started driving. It's still kind of snowing, but I could see the I the roads were like super icy right. and shitty. No one's in the ditch. Then it <laughs> gets sunny out. <laughs> yeah. And the highways are starting to clear up, and I'm like, sweet, truck in the ditch. You know, Ooh, and it's like, and it's like, it. yeah. and it's like, <laughs> but it's like, it's like all these trucks in the ditch and there's like the dude standing beside him and like, uh, or a truck just coming to pick him up. And I'm like, it looks like this just happened. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You guys are lucky though. You made it through all right, right? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. Know. We, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Mike's from Winnipeg, like he's yeah. not scared. We have a lot of snow. It's minus 50. Minus 50. <laughs> we, tour, we tour a lot in the winter in Canada too. Yeah. That's been our thing. Just because no other bands do. So mm -hmm. we're just like, oh, it's perfect. That's we'll be the only tour. Exactly. Take advantage of yeah, that. Yeah. You know? So I have to ask with all this touring, what is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you guys on tour? Mm. Weirdest thing? Driving to Salt Lake City? Yeah. Well, maybe not the weirdest thing. Oh, same. this was driving, weird. Driving, we, we left Vancouver and we had to go to South by Southwest in uh -huh. Boston. And so we had this epic drive, like 50 hour drive, right? Right. We get to Salt Lake City and we're, we're driving through this 
you know, J- JR bass players in the back seat, making just a making sandwich. a sandwich, eating a sandwich. About to take a bite. And uh, the whole big window, it's like from this wall to here, right? Yeah. Right. This huge, huge window. window. Bam! Shatters. Shatters. Glass everywhere. And we're Brand just like, new van, like, like 2006 we're around, like, van. What the fuck? What? Like, what just happened? And Jace, sitting there, hasn't even taken a bite of his sandwich, and he's covered, covered in glass. Covered in glass. What happened? No idea. When we pulled off, we pull off. You know, go to uh, try and go get it cleaned up because right. we're still like we're under the clock. We gotta get to we the, gotta show. Get the show. So we're like, we gotta get this glass oh out. We gotta fix this window. God. So we see like a car dealership. We like pull in. We're like, hey, we just got our like window just randomly smashed out. Right. And there's all these dudes standing there like, we probably got shot at. No. So we're probably shot at your car. And we're like, no. We were thinking it was like a rock or like I was like, no, probably someone shot at you. That's probably what happened. a sandwich in the back. And we're just like, that's what. That, but, and that was like a thought that crossed my mind. I was like. Jay, are you all right? Like, are you bleeding? Yeah. You know, like, did you get shot? Oh my you know what I mean? like, God. And so, yeah, and then these dudes were just like, yeah, most likely you got shot at. Yeah. Which I don't know what happened, but just the fact that they were so like, no, that is the- For sure you yeah, got- Yeah, first thing dead. in their mind was like, <laughs> yeah, that was totally, I never thought about that. That was the guys at the dealership. Like, it was like, you yeah, these big, big old they men. They make money. They're yet. like, Canada license plate. Oh, get <laughs> out of here. So yeah, so we had to like fix it up, garbage yeah. bags and garbage cardboard. bag, garbage bag and cardboard. Uh, oh and drove to Austin and played with municipal waste. Well, you guys didn't find any bullets in the back or anything? No. Nothing? Damn, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. So you guys are going to Europe after this. How do you guys build up all this energy to keep touring and touring with the motivation? Um, just it's I fun. mean, the thing is, is like it's you're a great gonna time. yeah, you're yeah. gonna be playing these amazing shows with kids who are stoked. So yeah. It's like, you can't not be excited. When you get up there, it makes up for all that touring and the. And driving. you think about you it, even and driving. It's, I love it. Yeah, yeah. you know, like hanging out with your I best friends. Enjoyed, yeah. I never really got like th- we drove for like we drove twenty five hours to Tulsa, mm-hmm. Oklahoma, stayed the night, played a show, stayed the night, and then drove equally as long. Yeah, thirty like, hours from, to from there, right. and like that whole drive, I was just like, like that even that drive in the morning when it sucked. Yeah, I was kind of like. I really like driving in the morning. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that crisp air, that feeling of like your traveling. best friends were yeah. having. You know? You yeah. Know? Listening to jams. Like, we hadn't been on tour for a month. Mm-hmm. And so for us, it was just like even missing doing that. We were just like, oh, this yeah. is bad. Yeah. Like, throwing on our iPods, like just talking. That's awesome. And yeah. yeah. Hang out with your buddies. The biggest thing I think it, it helps is that we, one, all get along really, really well. Like right. We, yeah. Like, when we're not on tour, we're all like hanging out to the point where my girlfriend makes fun of me. Really? She's just like, <laughs> For real, we're going to the bar to see the guys you see 300 days a year. Yeah, then you're just like, oh no, but it's Mike, and she's excited, and Jay's gonna come. She's like, oh, Jay, you're a bass player, yeah. I never get to see you. You want to hang out with these guys all the time. So (laughs) they're like brothers, you know? Exactly, that's the thing. And and I was kind of thinking about it too, because I was like, this is insane. Like, you know, like, there's all these people, like, I get home, and there's all these people that I never see, and I'm still calling these guys, and I'm kind of like, well, I don't know, like, if I was at home and I'd be hanging out with my best friends, like, all the time, right? right. The guys who I already have, like, all of the inside jokes and whatever. And it's so like, the inside jokes. And it's like, <laughs> but it's like, that's who you hang out with, right? Yeah. You probably always kind of hang out with the same people. Yeah, with, like, yeah. a tight crew. You know, so. yeah, exactly. For, for yeah. Us, it's just like, for us, that's who it is. You guys are in this experience together, you know? Coming off tour, I'm sure you still want to be with the people that you just experience this amazing thing. Yeah, you know? and it's also, at the same and time, we get along. a exactly. lot of the times when we're home, too, it's just like, all of our friends have to work, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Or and doing other things. Or, and, yeah. then, and then, you know, and then we have, like, it's not, it's not like it's, we're the only ones hanging out. We also have, you know, like yeah, our, lots of our, our, other, our friends. other friends hanging right. out. Right, that's know? perfect. It's just yeah. Like, yeah, you have your group of friends. <laughs> and that's what I say. Works out perfectly. <laughs> Rock. Watch punktv.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews.